YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Crypto J coming at you guys with yet another J Talks Crypto. If you're brand new to my channel, hit the subscribe button as well as bell notification. I do my best each and every day to give you guys the top picks in cryptocurrency. And guys, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Today, we are going to take a look at Bitcoin because boys, take a look at Bitcoin. I am smiling from ear to ear right now. You guys just can't see. As you guys can see, cryptocurrency market cap coming in at 2.27 trillion dollars up four percent who would have guessed it boys your boy crypto j guessed it <sighs> didn't i guess it boys i did didn't i say literally guys i think i said uh when bitcoin was sitting at sixty thousand dollars a couple days ago that i could fully see bitcoin hitting sixty six thousand this next week look where we're at guys was your boy crypto j surprised was i saying that all these indicators showing a bottom was I saying that, guys? Was I talking about the bull flag? Was I talking about the cup and handle? Guys, was I talking about how important it was that we broke out of that 64K range? We broke out. This is so huge. This is so huge. This is so huge. This is so big. Um, for Bitcoin, as you guys could see, even more people bullish on Bitcoin, right? Was that fake out really fooling the majority of the market? I don't think so. But there was a couple of people that were in my comment section trying to bet against me, which is not really that great of an idea when, you know, I have a 70 to 80% win rate with trades. It means that you're probably going to be right only like 20 to 30% of the time, which is good. I mean, at least you're right some of the time. But look at this. Nice cup and handle playing out. Super nice cup and handle playing out. Really like this. Like this for Bitcoin, man. I'm so excited. And again, guys, we talked about all of the indicators that were telling us that we were about to see a parabolic move. I told you that this move was going to be a big move. It wasn't going to be a little move. It wasn't going to be a small move. It was going to be a big move, guys. And I expect this to be just starting to cook like i expect a much bigger move again it's not financial advice things can always go both ways but all of our indicators have been telling us this for months and that's why i've been saying this for months how can i know this because bitcoin started creating this cup and handle right and i was saying that even back in march uh when we started having our correction and then we started to um create this wedge i was watching us create this wedge i started calling out that we were uh creating a wedge back in after this shoulder hedge so i called out the shoulder head shoulder i said there'd probably be a dump after this we dumped and then we started trying to pump once we started trying to pump here i said okay if we reject off of this range if we cannot cup and handle out of this small pattern then we are going to probably see a wedge play out right we were going to start creating lower highs that's what a wedge is lower highs right we reject off this we drop down and we reject off a lower zone drop down reject off a lower zone lower zone low zone low zone until we create this wedge once this wedge is fully created we could possibly see a breakout what happened guys what happened we saw the wedge we saw the breakout right even in my last video that i just made just yesterday I was talking about the fact that bitcoin is creating a wedge bitcoin's creating a wedge i can't couldn't say it enough. And guys, again, Bitcoin taking off today, guys. Let's check out some of these other coins. But actually, let's look at let's look at some of our more logarithmic patterns too for Bitcoin before I do that. Um, just so you guys also just see what's going on on here. So, all right, these are our Bitcoin long term indicators. Our indicators that was say that I was been saying, um, you know, Bitcoin is at the the best zone of accumulation historically. We're in the best zone of accumulation because we were in this red zone, right? Well, guess what, guys? Now we're turning into the orange, right? Look, we every time we go red, we go orange. Big parabolic move. Red, orange. Big parabolic move. We were red right here. Started turning orange. I was telling you guys what I, my prediction was would be a big parabolic move. Um, let's look at the RSI. RSI. Okay, not my mouse doing this. Okay, I'm not going to do this today with the mouse. I'm just going to use this. Bro. 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 <laughs> We're having technical difficulties, boys. Why is my mouse tripping right now? I don't even understand. All right, there we go. No more mouse problems. RSI. Sorry about that, boys. RSI, as you guys could see, what did I say? I've been saying this, guys. 
People will say that I didn't say this, and that's why I make these videos, honestly, because they're I told you so video sometimes, boys. It's an I told you so video. I said, look, right here, boys. Right here, right? Red, yellow, up here, pull back. Boom, skyrocket. I said, there's a chance we can see that here. Red, yellow, pull back, skyrocket. I expect it, guys. I do expect to see what we saw here. This huge run up. People thinking like, oh, did we top out a small pullback? And then another big parabolic run up. And then I expect us to probably create some kind of a McDonald's M or something like that will be the top of that cycle. This played out, you can see, over year span, over like a what, three year span, right? So right here, we were in red back in 2023. And then we have boom, boom, boom. Right here will put us just where we were at in 2017, right around here. It's exactly like I said. Wow. Oh, wow. Sometimes I amaze myself, boys. That's absolutely incredible. Stock to flow. Let's see. Um, Stock to flow also holding true right now, right? Every time that we've touched this red zone, it's been a historically amazing time for accumulation. This red zone right here indicate that we were going to go up. We're red. Our red is slowly turning into orange. And again, one thing that I was telling you guys or trying to say was that we were heavily oversold on this stock flow chart. And this is what they do to us, guys. I remember this was just like here when we broke down off our stock to flow chart and everybody thought that all these models were not going to hold true anymore. And I said, they're not exact models. Their predictions and their estimates based off of moving averages. This is based off of moving averages. This orange line is stock to flow. Stock to flow is saying our uh, 463 day moving average. This is based off of a 463 day moving average. So moving averages are just that. They're just averages. So, I mean, sometimes they'll be above. Sometimes they'll be below. Um, but this little chart, this little colored chart has has worked are the people that have used it and that's why i like using it um but again you could use any indicators you want right there's a ton of different indicators for bitcoin and all kinds of coins so you pick the best uh indicators that you want this is not financial advice but again those that's how i was able to um predict the top i just showed you guys how i was able to predict when bitcoin was going to see the sell-off i call i was saying that bitcoin would probably see a sell-off around seventy-one thousand. bitcoin shot up to 74 before it corrected and i was already stable coined up and then i was saying that bitcoin would pro possibly see a bottom around 52 and there's a chance that we go down to 45 i don't expect that to happen it wouldn't be a very good chance because again that would that would kind of mess with a lot of our indicators that are telling us that, again, we're pretty much, if not, I think I even said in one of my videos, guys, if not 60K the bottom, then when? Then when? Because according to our stock to flow, it just didn't make sense. So anyway, boys, I want to talk about some of these other coins. Let's talk about some of these larger uh, cap coins over here. I did tell you guys that, again, uh, some of the coins that I would be looking at, especially during that dip was some of these DeFi coins so let's see how some of these DeFi coins are stacking up let's see um which ones are not recovering as well as that we thought so you can see one coin that i was telling you guys that i'm very concerned about with the pattern that it was making was ethereum i was saying like why are so many people bearish on ethereum 34 people are bullish on ethereum 66 percent of people bearish on ethereum I'm like this is not necessarily a good thing you know, Bitcoin or Ethereum was making a pretty nasty head and shoulders pattern. You can see it's starting to cut up now with Bitcoin. Um, but I was concerned for Ethereum there at a, for a minute, right? We saw this shoulder head shoulder breakdown. And then look, this is still a bear flag, right? This is a flagpole with a bear flag, even though it, it does seem to be recovering with Bitcoin. I'm just wondering, like, why is Ethereum seeing this type of price action right now? Maybe it's because the fees are high and everybody is trading on Solana. Um, so let's check out Solana. You guys could see Solana chart looking a lot more healthier. 
and a lot more of the market is more bullish on Solana. You can see almost 90% of the market bullish on Solana. And guys, I told you that. <laughs> Did I tell you that? I told you that, guys. I told you. I said Solana is going to be a hot meme. It's going to be a hot coin. It's going to be a coin that people are going to want to uh, probably be accumulating during this dip because if we have an alt cycle, people are going to want to buy these meme coins on the Solana blockchain. They're growing faster than Ethereum. The gas fees are cheaper. We've been talking about it, guys. We also were watching Solana create a wedge, right? You could say, oh, Solana also has a shoulder head shoulder, right? Shoulder head shoulder, right? This could be a bearish pattern. Yeah, but you could see right here also, it had its retest. So now what is it creating? It's creating a wedge, created a wedge. So that's what happened with Solana. It created a wedge. It seems to be breaking out of the wedge. This is a lot more of a better bullish pattern. It's a lot more of a clear entry than um a chart like ethereum showing a chart, ethereum still showing that bear flag and that is why again why a lot of people are bearish on ethereum um so just for you guys who didn't know that and then let's go look at tron also tron's another ecosystem that was kind of pumping that i was saying i don't know how this is going to do i don't really like tron that much because of justin sun uh and his track record um but let's see what's going on with tron and let's see how it's recovering now you can see that still 80 percent of people are bullish on Tron. You could see that Tron is seeing some price volatility today, but it is still creating uh, higher lows, right? On the one-year chart, it's creating higher lows. It's been a steady climb for Tron. Um, but if you also notice, guys, it's also creating a rising wedge, right? So this thing could really break down at any time. Um, we'll see if it breaks down. I really don't know what's going to happen with Tron. Um, but I did want to talk about kind of the big three. I feel like that's the big three right now as far as like the... Uh, the DeFi projects that have things built on them. Not really going to talk about Binance. I mean, Binance is up a little bit, but I don't get involved in Binance. Is, are people still trading BNB coins, guys? Are you? Let me know in the comment section. Are you guys still trading BNB coins? If you are, have you made any money with any Binance coins this season? Because I haven't even been paying attention to that blockchain. I don't get involved with the Binance blockchain because it just seems like there's too many scams. You know, but let's look at some of these coins uh, over here on Dex Tools. Some of the coins that have been trending in the past. Um, so, for those of you guys, first of all, who do not have never been to this website, we're over here on DexTools.io, guys. It's a great website for finding those 10x, 100x, 1000x meme coins. But again, it's not every coin on here is going to be a rocket. Some of these coins are actually scams, and I show you guys in a lot of my videos how I. Uh, do my research in looking for scams at the end of the day guys you always have to do your own research because remember right not financial advice just your homie crypto j we're all adults and uh part of being an adult is taking responsibility for your actions and is doing your own research right you can't just go to youtube and be like oh well i watched this guy do the research so the research is done no, go out and do your own research before you make an educated decision, especially when it involves your money, guys. Um, but as you can see over here on Dex Tools, a lot of the coins that we've been talking about on the channel are performing today. So let's check out what's going on and the fact that they're still trending too. So we're over here on ETH, over here on ETH right now, and you guys could see MOG, our number one coin trending right now. MOG is a coin that we've been talking about on the channel. We were extremely early on MOG. Um, and as you guys could see, MOG close to a billion dollar market cap. Crypto J, wow, you called a coin early and it hit a billion dollars. You've never done that before, right? Never done that before, right, guys? I was, you know what? I was actually gonna, I'm gonna talk about a coin. Actually, well, you know, I'm gonna talk about it right now. I'm gonna, I, you know what? I deserve to flex, bro. I deserve to flex because I deserve it. So I just want to talk about Pulse Chain, even though Pulse Chain is looking uh, pretty funky right now. Just want to talk about it, guys. I talked about this was probably the the biggest coin that I was the earliest on, bro. It was the biggest coin that I was the earliest on. Um, so Pulse Chain right now is sitting around four billion dollar market cap. Four billion dollar market cap. And I talked about Pulse Chain before it launched. During the sacrifice, they had a sacrifice where you had to sacrifice your ERC twenty tokens and get Pulse Chain tokens. And this is a coin that again, super early on. Since then, it's had some correction. You could see but it's been kind of performing and it's been a coin that also i've been looking at the reason why i like pulse chain so much guys is because pulse chain is basically a fork of ethereum and you can use their chain and spend a lot less money on fees so i'm gonna make a video kind of on how to use pulse chain because again i haven't made a video on pulse in a very long time but this is just also just and i told you so on that because look at pulse up 162 percent 
this month. And again, a pulse isn't I don't really look at pulse like a meme coin. I look at pulse as like honestly, I feel like pulse is gonna be a blue chip. There is a lot of litigation going on around Pulse right now, around Richard Hart and stuff like that. But um, it's still a project that I'm personally dollar cost averaging into. Again, I'm not telling you guys to do it. I'm telling you guys to go do your own research and um, be a man, make your own decisions. But look at this. Uh, you guys can see over here on Solana too. Let's see if we talked about any of these coins on the channel that are trending today on Solana. So yeah, we did. We talked about the top three actually. Uh, we talked about Mew on the channel. We talked about Fwog on the channel. We talked about Billy. We talked about Mitchy as well. Um, some of these other coins, not too sure about. What is this mini coin? I've been seeing this mini coin. It's coming in today. It's 74 million. Let's check it out. Let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on with this thing. Let's see what's going on. Wow, this thing's absolutely taken off. We're definitely not. I'm, I'm definitely not touching this with a 10 foot pole because you can see it's at an all time high. And your boy Crypto J does not buy all time highs. I look for good entry points. I've been stocking good entry points, boys, for um, for a while now. So that's what I do. I look for good entry points and not all time highs. But look at this. Actually, looking like it could have a little bit more upside to it. Could be creating a rising wedge, or we could cre be creating a bull flag here, right? Hard to say. I guess a little too early to say even. But with a eighty two million dollar market cap and so twelve thousand holders, I'm definitely curious to know what's going on going on with the transactions. See even some whale activity here. So there's no anti-whale lock feature on this. You are going to get these big buy and sell orders, which means that we need to be watching transactions. I'm always watching transactions personally. actually want to track this wallet since he is a whale. Let's go check it out. See what's going on with him. Oh, man. It's early, boys. It's like 7.30. 7.30 in the mountain. All right. Let's see what's going on with him. So he has $66,000. Um... Has he been moving around a lot of money? Yeah, he has. He's a bot. 60,000 transfers. Moving money all over, boys. He's moving money all over, in and out of wallets. Um, and let's see what coins he's in also. So he is in mini. He's in a lot of different projects. He doesn't seem to have a lot of mini, though. It doesn't seem like he does, right? 19,000. He doesn't seem like he has significant price impact. Let's go check out the wallets that have a significant price impact by going to the holders on Dex Tools. And we could actually see who's holding the top uh, the top amount of these wallets. So you could see top 20 wallets holding a little less than 30%. But I want to know who they are because it's important that we know who these wallets are. The way that we do that is by going into our Solana contract for mini, which is at the top of Dex Tools right here. You guys could see it has 81 million market cap, 12,000 people holding it, almost 2 million transactions. This trade is absolutely bot infested, dude. Totally crazy. Let's see what's going on. Top two wallets, big red flag to me. The fact that these are open wallets, I do not like it. Um, Radium is our number three wallet, which is an exchange wallet. Number four, number five, these are open wallets. This is not a good sign to me also. So what I want to do now that I have that information, now that I have this information, and now that I see these two, actually, I see what you're doing here, brother. I see what both you, both these wallets are doing, and I'm, I would almost guarantee that both of these wallets are probably connected to the same bot. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out where these two million trans transactions are coming from right now. That's basically what I'm doing. Two million transactions for 12,000 people. It just doesn't make sense. It lets me know that somebody's moving around money. It lets me know that some some suspect is going on so the way that we determine what's going on we go through all the all the wallets right now usually it's not going to be going on through the top wallet you guys can see this guy only has 843 transfers um you can see he's been in and out of a lot of different coins he is trading from time to time sometimes a couple of times a day multiple times a day it seems like so um He's making a lot of moves. Let's see what his first transaction was and when it happened. So his first transaction was actually three months ago. Let's see when this coin was launched. We just did this with another coin. And um, guys, we we be finding them, boy. We be finding I mean, Man, I'm telling you, the people that watch this channel, you guys are really a cut above everybody else in crypto. Just so you guys know that. Those are, and a lot of you already know that because you guys have already been subscribed to the channel. Most people cannot do this, bro. Some of y'all have already got to this point in the video. You've already learned more than I'd say 90% of cryptocurrency people don't know how to do this. Even the YouTubers. I would say on YouTube, 
uh, 90, 99% of them on YouTube don't know how to do what I'm doing and showing you how to do. So again, guys, if you appreciate that I'm doing this for you and you love the fact that I'm doing it for free, then please hit the subscribe button and please give me a comment to say at least thank you, bro. Because again, I'm providing you so much value for free, guys. It's ridiculous. And I do it because I want to see you guys win. So uh, again, that top wallet was not the wallet, right? But we want to see when this project was launched. It looks like the project was at least uh, brought to Dex Tools around April or in October. This wallet was created three months ago. The timeline doesn't match up. So interesting. Um, and also when was it funded too? I want to know when they bought, uh, their first mini. So they bought mini three months ago, as you could see, they bought almost 20 million worth of mini. This guy was very early. It just seems like, it just seems like he was very early, but look, he was buying a lot of coins three months ago that he was very early on. He was also early on giga chat, right? How much money does this guy have in his wallet? 6 million. Wow. Nice. This guy is on top of it and maybe he's even watching me because some of these coins are coins that um that i talked about on the channel wow harambe he's a big holder in harambe he's holding a lot of pop cat this dude is a pop cat whale but his biggest holding is mini maybe he just knocked it out of the park on this one to be honest with you but interesting i still want to know what's going on with those other transactions they're still on my radar let me see what's going on with those transactions so let me close out this wallet was this the transaction? Oh, no, this is not many. Okay, we just want to make sure that we have the ch contract pulled up. So let's go back into here. And we're going to try to spot this, guys. We'll spot it. We'll spot this one. And then I'm going to make a part two to give you guys some even more meme coins um, that are being looked at right now by the market. But we so we checked out the top wallet. Let's check out the second wallet. Now, I'm pretty sure I know which wallets are corrupt. I'm pretty sure it's those dot saw wallets. Because again, two two dot saw wallets in the top ten, and they're just like I don't know. That's just weird to me. So this one already has 194 transfers. This could be actually the one that might be funding some of the other ones. Um. So, and the reason why I say that is because sometimes they'll buy a bunch and then they'll they'll do it in the one that has the uh, not a lot of transactions and they'll use that one to um in some of the earlier transactions to fund a lot of these other ones. So. Interesting. I don't see any foul play out of this contract. Let me see some of these other holders. What's going on with them? Okay. This is not that. That guy does have $2.8 million in his wallet, though. And guys, that's another cool thing, too. Like, if you guys see things that in some of these whale wallets, that you might you might end up being really early on them. You might be able to see like what this guy's buying and uh, stuff like that. Again, you do want to know how much he's buying stuff like that. But look at this. This one right here. Okay, so this is 1.9 million. Let's see. Let's see this wallet. This is the ones. So this wallet and this wallet are the ones that I expect just off of the fact that they're dot saw wallets and they're both in the top 10. What are the odds that they would be so close to this radium wallet and the radium wallet being number three? Don't like the fact that the exchange wallet is number three. Fast copy bot. Mm, look at you, bro. Look what you're doing. 4,000 transactions. I see you. What's going on in your wallet, bro? Let's see what's going on in your wallet, bro. So you could see that this guy, his first transaction that he had was a coin called Palm. Um, it was 17 days ago. I could even do my research on Palm. I want to copy this. And I even want to see how Palm is doing. If Palm was a rug pull, that's going to be a problem for me. Um, as you can see, 17 days ago, uh, this token is not listed on Radium interesting so that's weird um that's really weird but um yeah interesting with that one still sitting at a low market cap it seems like he has a lot of this palm project um he's transferring money transferring money transferring money when'd you buy your bags bro that's what i want to know like where are you where are your bags what duh did this guy just enter this trade not that long ago? Um, No, he just has too many trades. So you could really sit through this and filter it. You could filter it like this too. Let's just do this. It'll probably be faster actually. Let's do, um, what was that coin called that we were just looking at? Mini, right? M-I, N-I, mini coin. 
Um, am I tripping right now? That was the name of the coin, right? The name of the coin was mini coin. Pretty sure I'm not tripping right now, unless I'm tripping right now. And of course, not in here. Mini coin right here. Sorry. I'm like what? What the? Okay, so you can see the first time that he bought mini coin was about four or five months ago. Let's see if his when his first first transaction was was four months ago. Okay, and I want to see it was all Jupiter swaps. It seems like okay. Here's where that's going out at. So you can see he's acquiring, acquiring, acquiring. These are all buy orders, and now he's transferring. He's transferring, transferring, transferring. Look at all these transfers. Yeah, these are all transfers. So these Jupiter swaps, he's buying up. This is Jupiter. He's buying it. He's swapping on Jupiter for mini. And then he's swapping out here to different contracts. So this is two different contracts, but these are small amounts. Where's, where's all the money going? I guess he's still holding a lot of it, but... He is funding some other wallets. I want to see what's going on now on this wallet. So this is one of the wallets that he just moved to. He moved some funds onto this wallet. What's going on in this wallet? $60,000. How many transactions? 50 transactions. He's getting some funding coming in from some wallets on some different coins. This could just be a regular bot. Hard to say. I don't see nothing crazy. Let's see. Okay, let's check again. Mini. We want to see how many times he's gotten mini. Sometimes, guys, I sit on this page and I track transactions just like this, and I do this for a long time. So you can see two of these right here, and then he traded it out on Radium. So he cashed out on Radium. No, he bought some on Radium. No. Transfer here. So he received it here, and then on Radium, he sold it. Change amount, minus 375. Yeah, so... That's how much he sold of it. And then he's still holding. No, that's how much he has of it. So he just bought it off Radium. Okay, so from here to Radium to buy Mini. Yeah, okay, so he bought 75000 Where is this from three months ago? And this and this. He only has this much. What the? Okay. I'm not sure on this, boys. This is why it's so important to be checking transactions. I don't know what's going on in this mini contract. <clears throat> Somebody explain this to me in the comment section. Where, what's going on on this? Let me know, guys. I'm very curious. Um, again, guys, I'm doing my research just like you guys got to do your research. It's very important that we go through all these contracts. Wow, look at this goat coin. Wow, this thing was at like 80 million, and I was like, this thing's probably going to see a correction, and now it's at 135 million with 11,000 holders. This thing is a time bomb. Man, yikes. I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? <laughs> Look, this thing's up like 300,000 in the past seven days, and it just created a bull flag. It's breaking out. I thought this thing was going to see a correction. Once it created this little correction, and it was at like 80 million the other day, I was saying, I don't see how this thing could keep going like this. I also, there was a, some funky stuff going on with that top holder count. A lot of bot action, too, on this play, too. So, I don't know, man. I mean, there's going to be bots in, in transactions. Every transaction has bots. I'm not saying just because you see a bot that it's the end of the world. It makes your coin a scam. But it is important to know how often they're moving things, where they're moving things, what's going on. Because, again, sometimes... You can find some of these people that are just draining liquidity from these projects. And you think that the top holders hold like 50% or you think that they hold like 10, 15% when in reality they hold like 50, 60%. So those are all things that I pay attention to, guys. Um, we're going to be looking for some more coins in part two. I do want to make a part two to this because we're already at 30 minutes. Um, so again, guys, if you got a lot of value out of this, make sure you're tapped in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the bell notification so that you can get the notification for part two. Also, if you guys want to trade with your boy Crypto J, all you got to do is share this video over on Twitter at JTalks Crypto. And I am going to pick uh, all you guys actually that do that. Y'all could come trade with your boy Crypto J in my private telegram. That's not a place for financial advice. That is just a place to talk about cryptocurrency. Don't go in there making financial decisions and based off of the things that are said in that channel because, again, not financial advice. You are an adult. Be an adult. Uh, and the majority of people that watch this channel are men. So I will even say be a man, brother. And I remember, guys, if nobody loves you, 
Crypto J loves you. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.